Welcome, everybody, to my channel. <laughs> Welcome back if you're new. My name is Rika, and I do videos on holiday decor and furniture flips. And today's video is going to be about my New Year's Eve party decor. Um, I actually did this last year, so, you know, if you see 2023, just, you know, supplement for 2024. It's all the same. Um, but all of the decor um, I got from the 99 cent store, I will be posting what I purchased. And uh, if I if I purchased anything via Amazon, I believe I did. Um, and essentially, this video was like, I decorated for Christmas with preparation for doing a New Year's Eve party. So this decor can easily transition from Christmas to New Year's seamlessly and even if you're not doing a New Year's Eve party all of the decor that I did was like winter themed so it's applicable for Christmas and New Year's so if that sounds interesting let's get into it so I'm just gonna show you a quick before this is what my house usually looks like just so you can see how I use what was existing and what I changed. I purchased all of my cone trees from the 99 cent store as well as a few Christmas ornaments like snowflakes and things. I purchased all of the party photo props and all of the decor I used for the New Year's Eve trees from 99 cents as well and just a note if you didn't know those party um, party prop hat kits they have to be assembled so don't wait till the day of to start pulling them out of the box pull them out assemble them take your time with them and so that you're not scrambling the last minute I placed a table in the entryway with the crowns and the hats and I used a vintage headboard to use as a place to hang the cheers banner. I was expecting about 30 or so guests so I removed my single dining table and replaced them with two folding tables. These 8 inch disco balls were a 99 cent store purchase. And then the smaller uh, disco bars are actually uh, string lights. I also got those from 99 cent store. I opened the vintage trunk and used it to display all of the photo props to create a mini photo station. I find that cone trees look better in clusters and at various heights. So I did use some candle holders, also purchased from the 99 cent store, to create varying heights. Now going into my den, I removed all of the furniture and placed it outside in the patio area so that we would have a nice big area to dance. I also didn't want to purchase a helium tank for the balloons, so I used a regular balloon pump and balloon uh, glue dots and I glued all of these balloons to the ceiling and they stayed there for several several days but I think they could have lasted a couple of weeks. I moved all my den furniture outside to the patio and created like a little lounge area in front of the fireplace. Right here I'm creating that curtain backdrop. I used tablecloths, several black tablecloths, the plastic ones metallic uh, door curtains, and crepe ribbon. I'm using the same black Christmas tree I use for my Halloween witch night video. For the decor, I just use the party hats and party props that I purchased from the 99 cent store. And I topped it with a party top hat. I highly recommend creating a designated spot for your drinks and your mixers. I have a vintage buffet, but if you don't have one, I suggest using a dresser. 
I came up with the idea to have a second photo booth area in the bathroom since people were going to be using this restroom anyway. So I used tablecloths, metallic tablecloths, and metallic fringe door curtains to line the shower walls. And then I placed uh, white balloons to kind of simulate bubbles. This idea was surprisingly more popular than I anticipated and a lot more people took photos in the restroom than on the f designated photo prop wall. Alright, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you could do me a favor and leave me a comment or at least give it a like, that really helps out the channel. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. I hope you all have a very happy new year. Bye. Does that take?